So welcome back once again to another video here in Pennsylvania and more specifically I'm still here in Perry County, Pennsylvania doing like a little bit of a covered bridge tour I guess you could say. This is number eight. This is the new Germantown covered bridge and it's number 108 overall of the covered bridges I've done so far in Pennsylvania. Trying to get to all of them about 200 or so. But yeah beautiful scenic valley. I think you call this the new German valley too. And behind me is a new German town. Let me show you some maps and a little view of the town back there too. Back there is the town. There's the little old church right there. The graveyard in the back. Beautiful little place here in the valley. But let's look at the maps quick. So once again, as our, here's our map of Pennsylvania. We're here in Perry County, kind of in south central Pennsylvania. And once again, we've been looking at these all day. Here's our purple lizard maps of the area. And we're currently here, here at the New Germantown covered bridge here in New Germantown, pretty close to Tuscarora State Forest. We're just up Mount Pleasant, the Book, the Enslow, the Bist Line, a whole bunch along the line right here. All right, but let's take a closer look. Built in 1891. A lot of the ones here have a little bit later dates. In fact, the last two we did were like 1904 and 1918. About 74 feet long, so just a little bit longer than uh, Mount Pleasant one where we were in the previous video. And this one, first one today that has no arch at all. But well, all the ones we had so far had a, the Burr arch and the Mount Pleasant one had that kind of modified arch. But this, actually this one does kind of have these, see these, this is what's abutting down below against the piers there. So it is kind of an arch here. The Mount Pleasant one went up, down and across this, but this one goes all the way up. Kind of like a queen post. It does have the king post right there in the middle, the two diagonals. The queen post kind of, the queen post kind of goes diagonal across and down. So it's kind of like a queen post truss. And I mean, it has a king post too, but but this queen post then abuts down at the bottom. Yeah, what does that say up top? Hardware, boots, shoes, rubber, cigars, tobacco, paints. Hardware, huh. Must be for like a local store. Let's see on the other side here. Painted July 1958. As their names, the people who painted it. Oh, must be one of its that. Anyway, it's a little bit of local history. So this has not been replaced at all since at least 1958. You see, there is some newer wood. Probably, the, yeah, the roof has definitely been replaced. And I remember driving across this covered bridge years ago when I was doing a lot of exploring in Tuscarora State Forest. I came down this road. One of the little covered bridges I discovered. I didn't realize it was here at the time, but kind of one of those ideas that helped plant the idea in my mind to get to everyone in Pennsylvania. Let's keep going this way, though. We should get some good views out here. Just looking back. This has got kind of like a little hump in the middle too. All right. Kind of like a little trailer park over here too. All right, let's see. I think this is the sunny side over here. Oh yeah, this'll, this'll work. Yeah, that is a postcard worthy view there. That's what we want. Hold it steady. Yeah, but once again, that's the view we look look for in all these pictures. We don't always get them. Let's get underneath. Okay, I think we can get underneath here. Oh, you can see the steel beams. Always wonder. Um, a little rocky here. Sounds like the creek is singing to us. Oh, yeah, steel beams. I think once again, this is the Sherman's Creek. Oh, look, it's just two. Just two big ones underneath here. Yeah, once again, that's where those trusses come down and abut the abutment. <laughs> I wonder if the sound of the creek is like resonating off the steel beams a little bit. It kind of sounds like it's singing. Not sure if the camera's picking that up, but once again, just beautiful countryside. Beautiful farms out here. Looks like a trailer park, but it looks like a nice one. Wouldn't mind living there. Anyway. Let's make our way 
back across again. The new Germantown covered bridge. We say 1891, so it may have seen some work since then. At least not since 1958, according to that sign up there. I mean, it's definitely, these floors are definitely, they're double layered. You got the ones, these horizontal ones going this way, which are pretty thick. And then you have the vertical ones too, so it's like a double layer. That's not going anywhere. You can really hear the creek up here. You can peek through the little knot hole here. That's not really working out so well. All right. Once again, there's the beautiful town up there. And that's a shot with the church up there. With the mountain. So this won't be our last covered bridge of the day. There's two more I'm gonna visit, but they're further north and east of here in Perry County. All the ones I did so far were kind of here in this area, not too far from Route 274. About eight of them, I think. Actually, one was down in Landisburg, but yeah. So hopefully gonna to get to two more today, but they're a little bit, I gotta do a little bit further driving to get to them, but yeah. So we'll hop in the Jeep and take you across the new Germantown Bridge here in just a moment. All right, so here we go. Hard to tell if anyone's coming. Across the new Germantown covered bridge. All right, but that'll be it for this one, folks. But like I said, I got two more I'm hopefully gonna get to today. Next one is called the Seville covered bridge. So hopefully I'll see you there. Thanks for coming along, folks.